This? It says Model A, but I don't believe it's a Model A. I believe this could be a Model A, because I don't know what Ford did back then. Focus, focus, focus. All right. I was going to say it's a Model T pickup truck, but then again, I believe the Model A did come as a pickup truck. You see? So I like, you pop out this cover right here and you can stick a crank in there to crank the engine over. It's got a nice Ooga horn. You know? Five lug wheels. Now, you know, you could tour America in this car too, but you just gotta keep in mind, this car is primitive compared to what you're gonna see on the road today. And this car really couldn't keep up to the speeds with that original motor in there. It's got a flathead four in this one also. But you know, you could take the US highway if you don't mind. Now, somebody explain to me what these levers in the steering wheel mean. There's like for retarding, the timing, and then one of these is for gear selection, and the other one is for something else, and then there's like three pedals on the floor, and then two pedals, and then, well, I don't know. There's two pedals, but they all mean, they don't mean what they mean now, but back then they meant something different, like retarding the timing, and then one was the upshift, and one was to put the engine brake off, some stuff like that, but. See, you couldn't give me one of these cars. I couldn't get one of these, even though I'd love to, because I would actually use it. Not all year round, but you know, when the weather is permitting, in the areas, you know, I mean, if I am in New York City Metro, I would take this thing with me everywhere in a 140 mile radius, if time wasn't an issue. You know, I would drive this upstate, Albany, drive it up to Connecticut, if time wasn't an issue though. If I gotta be there in two hours, taking one of these is not an issue, not, not, a, not, a, not a good idea, but if you don't have to be there in that much time, you know, you could leave here at six o'clock. See. Thanks, man. Got this wood, you can get this done at any woodsmith, they'll make these. The woodsmith will make the slats for the bed too. If you're in an area like I am, you meet a couple guys from upstate of Pennsylvania. You get a couple metal fabricators, they can make these running boards for you. Because these running boards, if you get the ones that are made in China, they're gonna be crappy and they won't be strong enough to stand on, nor will it be coated. So they'll start to rust out from underneath when you put them on. Uh, they're also making with plastics too and 3D molding, but you gotta shop around for that. You gotta be closer to Michigan. So here we go, here's that flathead four. See, look at the way the distributor works and the contacts right there to the spark plugs. It's got that water pump in it. Oh, sorry me. It's got another updraft carburetor right here. It's a one barrel though. That's a one barrel. See that? Chrome work is great. Yeah. So, 1930 Ford Model A pickup truck. It looks like a Model T to me, but I'm going to say it's a Model A because they say it's a Model A. Really beautiful. Really beautiful. Oh, like and subscribe, and then I'll try to bring you some more of these classic beauties from yesteryear on the Galaxy Marauder. And Bronco McBain, but you know, we'll see what's happening over there. Thank you.